Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple composter within your raised bed using buckets to feed your plants and to feed your worms. So the system is very easy and I've used it uh, multiple times in previous seasons and it worked really well. Uh, let me show you the ones that I've done before. So here's the system that I used about two seasons ago using just a regular uh, container and it has a lid in it and then I would undo it and then I would feed the container like food scraps or like um, uh, dead plants in the garden and sometimes I throw fertilizer in there as well and uh, the organic fertilizer of course and then that would help feed the plants inside this raised bed it works really well so uh, today I'm gonna show you how to make a bigger one <laughs> So here is my large raised bed and as you can see I have a five gallon bucket in there and then here's my lid. So this bucket was a bucket that I used to grow um, hydroponic plants and it has everything I need so I just placed it into there uh, dug a hole and then put the bucket in and then put the lid on top. The lid is just to keep the critters from uh, getting inside. And then here's how you feed the compost into the container. So here is some compost that I saved inside the house. It has like orange peels, uh, lettuce that are old and stuff like that. And so what I do is I put it in here. You see? And if you want to, you can just put a little bit of soil on top and that helps the bacteria start to break things down and that would feed your plants. At the bottom we have uh, some really large holes as well as small holes and also on the side we have some holes too. But the sides, uh, you don't have to put holes on the sides if you don't want to. So then here is the lid that goes on top, just push it down a little bit and that is the composter within the raised bed uh, they sell raised bed with this system uh, made into the raised beds but they're very expensive so i decided i'm just going to make my own so here it is so i'm going to show you how to make this one today okay so you will need a five gallon bucket uh, reuse the one you have or you can just get a new one so this one here i have used it for growing other plants and you see it has holes on the sides already. You can put more holes if you want to. So what we need to do now is we're gonna drill a big hole at the bottom. It doesn't matter the size. Basically what it is is it allows uh, the, the worms to pass through and also the compost to drop down into the soil for the plants to use. So any size uh, uh, bits you want to use is fine. So. Um, Larger holes is, is, uh, is ideal because it, it's easy for things to get in and out like the worms or um, the compost and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and begin. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to drill a hole in the middle. But it really doesn't matter where. You can drill multiple holes if you want to. And this is a 3 inch hole saw. And that is a 76 millimeter number 3. So I'm just going to drill it here and the reason I'm doing this is because I'm also going to reuse this container later. So to drill the hole you set the drill to go forward. Okay so now that it it drills the hole in it's stuck now. Change it to the reverse so it's easier for your wrist. Okay, so there's your hole and you can basically cut out the entire thing if you want to but because like I mentioned I'm gonna reuse this container so I'm gonna drill a hole right there and then I'm gonna poke a bunch of holes on the, on the bottom so for that I'm gonna use this large drill bit 516 so whatever size you want you know as large as you like so now we're gonna drill holes everywhere <laughs> Okay, so there it is, as many holes as you like. And you can also drill some on the side as well. Okay, so for the lid, 
this is because I'm reusing the lid we are going to cover the holes up just to prevent bugs from getting through so for that I'm using the Reynolds wrap right here Just place it on top. Then and then for the bottom, just work it in like this. And there is our lid. Okay, so now we are going to put the bucket into our raised bed. And remember, if you're going to drill a hole on the side, just drill it enough so that when the soil cover the hole and the holes are not exposed. Because if, it, if the holes are exposed, then, you know, animals and critters and stuff can get in. So um, I normally just drill it down here and then cover the holes up. There you go. That is as simple as it is. So a very effective system that allows you to reuse a lot of the vegetables or scraps that you don't use. And also it helps feed the worms and your plants and your raised bed is gonna be very happy. So uh, I hope you try it out and uh, let me know what you think once you do. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.